you must have observed the boiling of water so when you boil water heat it for a long time so you see that the liquid form changes into the gaseous form that is water changes into steam and you see bubbles throughout the bulk of the liquid if you record the temperature at which the change takes place it is 100 degrees that is the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius how does boiling take place so we have the liquid form as you provide heat so the increase in heat leads to an increase in the kinetic energy of the particles as the kinetic energy increases the speed of the particles increase therefore the interparticle space between the particles also increases this decreases the intermolecular force of attraction and therefore the liquid form changes into the gaseous form let's revise how this process of boiling takes place so as the temperature increases so you provide heat energy to the liquid that increases the kinetic energy of the particles as the kinetic energy of the particles increase the speed of the particles also increases due to this the interparticle space between the particles increases as the interparticle space between the particles increase the interparticle forces of attraction between the particles that decreases and therefore the liquid changes into the gaseous form you have also seen the drying up of your clothes so when you wash your clothes you keep them you hang them on the clothes rope you see that they dry after some time and the temperature say the temperature outside is 30 degree celsius or 35 degree celsius so it the evaporation or the change when your clothes the wet clothes are drying that takes place around 30 35 or 40 degree celsius this temperature is not 100 degree celsius this is much below 100 degree celsius that is much below the boiling point of water and this is the process of evaporation how is evaporation taking place let's see so these particles that are present on the surface they have lesser forces of attraction as compared to the particles which are in the bulk of the bulk of the liquid so a little heat from the surroundings increase their kinetic energy to such an extent that they overcome these forces of attraction and they escape as gas so evaporation is a surface phenomena they extract heat from the surroundings and so the surface particles they evaporate that is they change into the gaseous form so let's see how evaporation takes place so the temperature increases that is the surface particles extract heat from the surroundings in doing so the kinetic energy increases as the kinetic energy of the surface particles increases the speed of the surface particles also increase because of this the interparticle space between the surface particles increases the interparticle force of attraction between the surface particles decrease and due to this the liquid on the surface changes into the gaseous form and this is how evaporation takes place So now let's compare evaporation that you observe every day when you wash and dry your clothes and boiling that is when you heat water it changes into the gaseous form So you know evaporation is a slow process it takes time for the clothes to dry but when you boil water it is a very rapid process you quickly see the steam coming out of water so boiling is a rapid process evaporation is a slow process evaporation takes place at the surface we know that evaporation is a surface phenomena it takes place at the surface and boiling takes place throughout so you see that bubbles are formed throughout the bulk of the liquid these bubbles signify that boiling is taking place throughout the bulk that is each and every particle experiences the change each and every particle extracts heat and changes into the liquid form so boiling is taking place throughout the bulk of the liquid whereas evaporation being a surface phenomena takes place only at the surface also evaporation takes place below the boiling point we know boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius but when you keep your clothes for drying the temperature may be 30 35 or 40 degree celsius that is much below the boiling point of water so evaporation always takes place below the boiling point whereas boiling water boils to form steam only at 100 degree celsius that is at the boiling point of water 
So these are the differences between evaporation and boiling.